More staff changes in the Trump administration. President Donald Trump has announced his replacements for Attorney General and Ambassador to the United Nations. Kenneth Moten reports. Nearly a month after Jeff Sessions was forced to resign as Attorney General, President Trump announced that he is nominating William Barr to replace him as the head of the Justice Department. One of the most respected jurists in the country, highly respected lawyer. I did not know him for until recently when I went through the process of looking at people. And he was my first choice from day one. The president expects Barr will be confirmed quickly by the Senate. And that is likely given that Barr has already served as attorney general, working for President George H.W. Bush in the early 1990s. Barr has been quoted saying he believes there is more basis to investigate a uranium deal approved while Hillary Clinton was secretary of state than potential collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. If confirmed, he will oversee the special counsel probe. When Barr was the attorney general, he was Robert Mueller's boss. The president also announced that State Department spokeswoman Heather Noward will be his pick to be U.N. ambassador. She's very talented, very smart, very quick, and I think she's going to be respected by all. Noward came to her current State Department job without any government or foreign policy experience. She previously worked for ABC News and was an anchor of Fox and Friends, the president's favorite cable news show. The president didn't confirm, but sources tell ABC News he is also likely to replace Chief of Staff John Kelly. Sources say the leading candidate to replace him Nick Ayers, who currently serves as the vice president's chief of staff. President Trump also says he'll announce at the Army-Navy football game tomorrow a potential shakeup within the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington.